Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely anti- No, it's happening. 
After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. The resonance of Is under quarantine. I finished synthesizing the song. Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Ugh, the pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, Note 7.25.
Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold. Oh, God. The further I go, the closer it's down. Is that the source? It's... kind of pretty.
to stop being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. Is under quarantine. You've returned, I see. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big, angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. You killed it? You found the source and you killed it? I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Her concern is touching. Really, it's too much. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. Thanks for the information. My ple- In all this, I find myself enjoying the work even more.
us by bringing a hiss in. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prep for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy here. Did you hear that the his prisoner they captured is the director's brother? Brother? And she brought him here. She's gonna get us all killed. The thunders hold us. You are a warm through time. The thunders hold us still with you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is me, right? They fear inside the back door. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been in there. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunders hold us towards you. Happiness, you are a warm through time. Shit. The thunders hold us towards you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, my Dylan. I'm here. I found you. You've always been in there. You want this to be true. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But... I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them, too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it! Orange field. Shit. Shit. He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I near worms a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic, so safe, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. 
I welcome the hiss. I let it in to get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are worn through time. You are worn through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes.